Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from Ruby Guides, and in this video, you're going to learn about layouts in Ruby on Rails. Specifically, you're going to learn about how to filter what you can show based on controller action and controller name. Let's do this. Okay, so I have a very simple Rails application right here. And uh, I'm going to show you what I have right now. So it's a Fritz um, application. As you can see, we have a list, have apples are green apples. We have yellow bananas. And of course we can edit them and all of these basic operations, right? We can change the layout. The layout is this file inside views, layouts, application, html.erv. And this is a file that we control what shows on every single page. That's why it's called a layout. It's the general layout for your whole website. And this controls things like the site title and things like your CSS or your JavaScript. Okay, uh, here's the body and this yield is the content of the page, right? So if I delete this yield, then we won't see anything because we remove the contents. And the only thing that remains is the other stuff, the style sheets and the this token and the title, okay? So that's the basics of layout. And now what I want to show you is how we can have conditional sections on your layout. Let me show you what I mean with an example. Let's do something very simple, which is to print some word. Let's print, for example, the word test. Okay, now when I reload, we can see test right here. I'm going to put this inside a paragraph, p tag, so it, it stands on its own line, right? So you can see it says test. If I go to a new, fry, new fruit, it says test. So every single page now has the word test at the bottom of the, the page. And of course, you can imagine this could be something more useful, like maybe some kind of footer uh, or menu or some other kind of information, right? Now, here is the core of this video. What I wanted to you to learn is that what happens if we don't want this section on every single page. Maybe we want to exclude this from the index, or maybe we want to exclude this from the show page. How can we go about that? Well, it's actually very simple. We need an if statement, of course, because with if statements allow you to make decisions. And then what's inside that if statement? Well, let's see the example. We're going to do if something, we don't know what, what's that yet. If that's true, then we're going to show this section, right? And then we need to end this with an end. So we, so Ruby knows where the condition starts and ends, right? No, we have to figure out what goes in here. Because if I do, just do true, that doesn't change anything, right? Because it returns true. So we need to make this check for something. Now let's say that what I want to check is the current controller action that's rendering this layout. The current controller action that's rendering this layout. How can we figure that out? Well, 
it, it happens that Rails has this method, this very helpful method which is called action name. So action name is a string, and we can check if the action name is, for example, index. Okay. So now if I reload, this word is still in there, right? We still have test, but if I go to a new fruit, notice that it's gone. We no longer see test right there. Or I can go to any other page and there is no test. The word, that section, is no longer there. So what that means is that when we check the action name to be the index, then only then show this text, right? O only then show this section. We can also reverse this and say, if action name is not index, and let's see what happens, right? Now that that's gone, and now we, ho we come here, to the new action, we can see it's there. So what we do, we have done now is we have reversed the condition. So now we are excluding, we are excluding, we are removing the index, this section from the index, right? So it's the reverse from only showing on this page from removing it from this page. In other words, not showing it on the index. So that's what you can do with this very helpful action name method. There is also a related method, which is action, no, sorry, it's controller name, like that. Um, we can check if the controller name, in this case, is fruit. And uh, here I'm saying, if the controller name is not for it, then we're going to print this section. And remember that we're working within a layout and the layout affects every page in your project. From the freight controller, anything that comes from the freight controller, then it's not going to print that. But if I had a different controller, then it would show. Okay, so I hope I made that clear enough. And also, another thing you can do is not only use this in in a condition like this to check, oh, is the current controller free or is the current action index? You can also this use this to print the value. So we can see if controller name right there we can see it's fruits, right? Or we can print the action name. And let's print this inside, also inside a paragraph. There it is, we are not in the index. Here's the new, here's the edit, right? So that's how that works. So quick review, layouts, which are found inside view, oops, inside view, layouts folder, allow you to affect what goes into every page of your website. And then if you want to change or hide or exclude specific sections of the layout based on the action name or the controller name, you can use either the action name method or the controller name methods, okay? So that's how that works. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, please click the like button below this video now, so I know that you like it, and some more people can enjoy this video, okay? If you want to learn more, watch more of my videos right now in this channel. There are over 100 free videos that you can watch right now to learn more about Ruby and about Rails. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, so you can get more videos like this. And visit my website, 
rubyguides.com rubyguides.com in there you will also find lots and lots of Ruby tutorials and also you will find in there my Ruby book Ruby Deep Dive okay thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for your support and have a nice day see you in the next video